um, we will have our Senior Vice President National Sales Manager, Cameron Jones, to kick off today's session, followed by the Head of Sales at Wingspan, Steve Matusa. Thanks, Ashley, and thank you all for dialing in today. Looking forward to having, I think, a, a conversation you might not have all that often. Again, I'm Cameron Jones. I head up all of our, our national 401k sales team across the country, and we ran into a group, Wingspan, where Steve here is the Head of Sales, to uh, really as a solution to a lot of our clients' problems. We found a lot of our corporate clients out there that were offering a retirement plan to their W-2 employees, right? Also had these 1099 contractors. And so, you know, the, the question came up in our work is, well, can the 401k plan cover them? You know, you know, they can't. And so we've actually explored some retirement solutions at the individual level for 1099s with Wingspan. We're building out similar to the PEPs and turnkey solutions we've we announced at the annual conference in September, right? We're actually building out a retirement solution with Wingspan, but Wingspan itself is a phenomenal platform that helps serve. And I'm going to oversimplify this, Steve, and he'll give you a demo to show um, almost like a payroll functionality for your companies to pay their 1099 contractors and create a lot of conveniences for the company there, as well as conveniences for the contractors with the ability to withhold taxes or even have a marketplace to buy health insurance, retirement, things like that. So this is just a great solution for you all to, I think, to educate yourself on to help solve some of your clients challenges that are dealing with those 1099 contractors where you might not be able to help them with the benefits of retirement plan. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Steve, who really heads up sales to give an overview on Wingspan, but highly encourage you all to, to ask questions throughout the session. So Steve, take it away. And we have, I think, a bit of a fire alarm going off in Steve's office right now. So um, I'll, I'll add a little bit of color here as well. So with with Wingspan, I think, you know, when we started looking at this as a solution, um, my assumption was interesting. My assumption was that, oh, if somebody's using their payroll company for the W-2 employees, that payroll company is automatically just acting as the, the chassis in which they can do, you know, contributions from the corporate bank account to that 1099 contractor. And that's the case some of the time, some of the more, I'll call it holistic payroll vendors are there, but it's actually, that's more of the minority then what's the norm? A lot of these folks are writing checks to them right there. Like if you think of real estate agencies, that's where we first started writing this quite a bit, right? They they go through escrow. Sometimes it's the actual house buyer that's writing the check for this, right? And then they're paying them just through a normal hard copy check. Um, so this is becoming, it's a pretty big administrative pain point, um, as well as if you think of it, from a 1099 contractor's perspective, right? If they're just getting a check, it's really up to them to run their own accounting, their own bank account. You know, they might have an EIN set up for themselves, a corporate tax ID, or they might just be using their social security number to clear their business. So this gives them a great functionality to have their own repository of kind of handling their personal finances from a withholdings and payroll perspective all in one place. You, what you also might know about 1099 contractors, they might have multiple gigs at different places, right? So if they have their Wingspan account, right, they'll be able to work with different employers that are actually giving them some sort of contribution and it helps that. So if any of you are on the wealth planning side, I think this becomes a pretty attractive feature at the individual level of some of your individual clients are, you know, 1099 contractors as well. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Steve. It sounds like we got the, the fire alarm under control. <laughs> Knocking on wood. And if it uh, if it comes back, I will try and mute as quickly as possible and hand it back to uh, hand it back to Cam. But hi, everyone. My name is Steve Matuza. I am the head of sales at Wingspan. Um, and Cam, you nailed our pitch. I'm really excited to, uh, to share the, um, the value proposition towards your clients and how Wingspan can be a solution um, for companies of all different shapes and sizes um, who have a independent contractor workforce. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again. Fingers crossed that uh, that it's done. But I am I'm sitting in a room where the um, the fire alarm is right there. I don't know if you can see it with my blurred background. It is super loud. So if I just cut out at any point for those that are either dialing in or I just stop talking or I sure turn, turn off my video, I promise that is what's happening. And Steve, I think the good news is we can't actually really hear it. I know it might be distracting on your end. So. Um, more information on Wingspan, I'd say, is they are one of the most nimble technologies we've seen out there in the marketplace. So uh, some of the skepticism I got just kind of sharing my experiences with first introducing this concept is 
Uh, well, you know, our, our business model is unique. You know, how we pay 1099s is different depending on the contract or the freelancer, et cetera. I've been absolutely amazed with the ability of, of, of Wingspan to be able to integrate with uh, as many payroll comp- platforms, bank accounts, uh, sending money from 1099s out to different trusts. Like uh, if, if you set up a solo K for them, it can have a payroll contribution out if they're buying their own individual health insurance through the, you know, just through using the Wingspan payroll, pro, you know, technology to pay them out. They can send that straight to the actual insurance carrier. So this becomes a very nimble thing. Um, I would highly recommend if you do tee them up for your existing clients, what you consider is, is, is maybe not try to be the person who's the special, uh, specialist at Wingspan, like of course I'm doing right now, the irony there, but I think it's it's really teeing up the conversation as more of a dialogue to see, okay, what, let's help you identify your current workflow for 1099s. You'll kind of whiteboard that out and then Wingspan can come in and kind of whiteboard. If you were to use Wingspan, here's how it would look. I think we do a similar thing on the forum case side. Here's your plan today. Here's where it could be if we were to help you with investments, fee negotiation, et cetera. It's similar where Wingspan can come in and do that same exercise to really help them map out what is the current state? What, how does that, what, what does that look like today? 100%. So I'm going to talk quickly and go through sides quickly, just, just in case it comes back. But thank you again, Gam. Um, so we are the first payroll platform designed for independent contractors. Um, so really what the, the goal of this conversation is, is do you have clients that you're working with with an independent contractor workforce? As Cam was just saying, hey, we don't need to know everything about what they're currently doing. You don't need to know everything. You're not going to gain all of the knowledge in the next 20 slides or however many are in here. Um, really, what we're trying to identify is companies that are paying contractors who are onboarding them, issuing what something that is called a 1099 at the end of the year. How are they currently doing that? And are they willing to have a call with us? So the goal of this conversation, as Cam just mentioned, you are not selling our product. We don't want you to, uh, to have to do that. We will do that. Um, but if your clients have pain points in these areas, in the majority of clients who have contractors, they are experiencing this. Um, we can save them a ton of time and money um, and make you look an all-star to your uh, to your end users. Um, so today, pending the uh, the fire alarm stays quiet, we are going to do a uh, quick introduction. Um, we're going to talk through the employer experience, so what it looks like managing the uh, the independent contractors. And what does it look like for the 1099 contractor themselves using Wingspan? Um, And then from a Wingspan perspective, what are the types of customers that we're targeting? What does our sales cycle look like just in terms of you're making introductions? What does that process look like post-introduction? And what is Wingspan going to be doing in driving that conversation with your clients? Um, So contractors in general are more essential than ever. Um, So you can see here by 2027, Um, contractors are going to be the majority of the workforce. So right now it's over a third of the U.S. workforce is a 1099 contractor. Kind of picking up on this, I think we've all seen it and we've heard from our clients this, uh, you know, great migration or great resignation. Uh, The the quote I'm starting to hear now is the great never applied in the first place. Um, And that's because I think a lot of the younger generation is realizing they can do freelance work. They can sell ads on social media, right? Like they're you, the amount of people that are making anywhere from 40,000 a year to 80,000 a year, just, you know, working eight hours a week in, in the Gen Z population is staggering. So I think um, a lot of people that are in you know, a lot of uh, workforce, a lot of employers that are looking to get work to support them are now going to the, you know, uh, 1099 route. And you'll see a lot of the data that Wingspan's put together has, has really supported this. So I know for the folks on the line sometimes it's it's hard for us to veer out of like our normal 401k conversation like our normal group benefits conversation but the reason we share this is because i think it's becoming imperative to do so the trend we're seeing in the marketplace right now is people expect you to not just be a specialist in your craft like 401k retirement plan advisory but they want you to understand their business and how what are the objectives of their business right is is how are they recruiting rewarding retaining talent and that talent now is no longer just in that W-2 bucket. Right now we're, now we're looking at the contractor bucket. So knowing the limitations we have with compliance, with these group plans not applying to contractors, right, it becomes imperative upon us to be able to roll up our sleeves and have those types of discussions, right? Um, we can give 
a handful of case studies already in the short um, you know, amount of time that I've been personally working with Wingspan over the last uh, eight or so months, we've closed uh, three new retirement plan clients because we came in to firms that we knew just their business model, like trucking, right? Very heavy on the 1099 contractor and said, hey, wh who's helping you with offering a benefit or retention type group buying um, environment for these 1099s? We know you can't offer them benefits, but what are you doing to get, make it convenient for them to work with you as a contractor, right? And just so opening that conversation, I'm getting out of my normal 401k fees funds fiduciary. Now I'm getting into something that might be a huge red flag to their business that nobody else has really talked to them about. So they do have, a, if you're a contractor, if those who aren't familiar with them, right, there is administrative overhead to the company to be able to work with them. Right? They have onboarding. So there's certain things they need to collect, W-9 forms, et cetera. The way they actually pay them is that how to get money from point A to point B. Compliance, right? They need to make sure they're documenting things that they're compliant. I can tell you, I live in a state, California, where compliance is imperative with this, right? We have the new ABC law here where it becomes really hard to identify somebody as a contractor versus an employee. And so that needs to be documented, 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 right? And there's integration and reporting. You want to know how much you're spending on contractors, right? You want to know, be able to report back up to the, the powers that be at your organization. What is, what is the workflow look like, just like you do with your normal employee population? So if you're doing things manually through checks, through that old school way, this becomes very, very hard to execute, I think, on these items. Um, the problem is, and I think we've alluded to this, is that most payroll systems were built for W-2 compensation. Benefits were built for W-2 compensation, right? Um, and the problem with that is people just never really started with the 1099 conversation. Even the folks that are handling this on the payroll side, they're saying, hey, I'm going to do your W-2 employees. And oh, yeah, another additional check the box will accommodate the 1099. I think we've all worked with some sort of partner provider that, that does something as a secondary area of specialty to them, and it just doesn't really move the needle. So it's not as pleasant of an experience for your clients. So that's really what attracted us to Wingspan. Um, what you'll see here, and I might need Steve to add a little bit of color on here, but there's a lot of different fragmented systems that your HR is talking to accounting and invoicing, right? This is meant to bring it all together, but pretty much anybody who I've brought this up to, even if they're like, hey, I'm using my payroll company, you'll see some of those names listed on here. That payroll company might just be doing a piece of what the 1099 contracting needs. They might not be doing the entire thing. Totally. Um, and thank you again, Kim. Um, so throughout the uh, the process of bringing on and paying a 1099 contractor, there are a ton of different systems in place. So normally there is one system to onboard them and get the paperwork in place to set up what's called a W-9 to get their bank account information in place just so they're prepared for payments. So that's normally one tool. And then you move into the payroll tool, like the paychecks here, the ADPs. There's a lot of solutions that companies are offering but it's more of an account payable tool where somebody puts a sticker on it and they're like, it can be for contractors. And from a contractor's perspective, they're just getting a direct deposit with the total number. Um, and it's not really a great experience, both for the contractor and, or for the company when it comes to disputes or paying out numerous contractors at once or contractors at a different payroll schedule. Um, for compliance, there are tax forms that companies have to submit to stay compliant specific to 1099 contractors. Um, and then with integration and reporting. So the goal using Wingspan for your clients, we are not going to come in and replace everything that they're currently using, again, because there are so many tools. Um, but the idea is if they don't have a solution area around one of these four segments or the other segments that exist, we can help with that. Um, or if, there are, if there's a company with tons of contractors, Wingspan is usually the tool that brings everything in a centralized place and we're an API first platform. And what that means, we are going to pull data in from their tech and push data back into their, their current warehousing systems. So we aren't adding new tools to their, um, to their experience. We're not overcomplicating things. We're doing quite the opposite where we are oversimplifying things and creating automation in an industry and in a world that is a relatively manual mistake prone um, industry. Um, I'm gonna pause there. Anything to add there, Cam? I would just add, you know, it's so funny. We've been talking about this so much on just even payroll integration with the 401k platforms, right? We're getting so much more involved in these discussions of things that aren't in our normal financial advisory capacity, because if we can help our clients have payroll talk, you know, well with the 401k platform, we know that allows the record keepers to outsource a 
good majority of the administration, especially if they're working at 316 capacity. So I just encourage you all to really start to know enough to identify the problems on this and then to have you know Wingspan as the appropriate partner to bring in to talk about how to how to solve for these things. When when these solutions that you previously that your companies previously are working with are manual, and um, there's a lot of things that can come up into a few of the, the items that we've notated here, drudgery, burnout, wasted time, risk. It's just not a good experience. And when it's not a good experience on the employer side, um, the, the contractors are going to be feeling that as well. And so I, I mentioned, or I think Cam had mentioned when my uh, my alarm was blaring, but I heard the words recruitment and retainment. Um, and so in certain industries of companies that are onboarding Wingspan, they're starting to recruit and retain top talent of contractors who have used Wingspan in the past. And now it's almost a competitive advantage where not only are they benefiting, saving time and money around how they're managing this process, um, but two, they're attracting and retaining top talent, which is of course important in every industry. Um, and with that, risking losing of contractors to competitors who offer a better experience is the worst case scenario for a lot of these businesses. And so what you're going to get with Wingspan, you're going to get secure, reliable, customizable payment options for your contractors. Um, you're going to get a much cleaner onboarding process. I'll show you here how beautiful it is here in just a second. Um, and then no longer having to worry about, am I compliant right now? Am I submitting the right paperwork? Um, what is happening when the IRS is pushing back around specific documentation I submitted? All this stuff I'm sure, hopefully none of you are thinking about because you're not going through this right now. But a lot of your clients probably are, and there's a lot of uncertainty living living within that. So Steve, I think we've talked a lot about the benefits of the platform. Would it be possible to maybe jump to see what the platform looks like now? That'd be great. Look at that that segue. It's like we planned that, Cam. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show two different versions of this. So I'm going to show quickly what does it look like on the customer side, um, so for your clients, and what does it look like on the um, on the contractor side. Um, so this is from the the company perspective. So. Normally, companies are onboarding numerous contractors at once. It's, it's pretty rare that they're just onboarding a handful of them. Um, so in that process, it is time consuming. It's manual. A lot of that is done through email. Um, so with Wingspan, all they need is the what we call collaborators, their contractor's personal email address. And then from that point, it's customizable for whatever you need from the contractor. Um, so to add a contractor to start this experience, you just need their email. Um, from there, the contractor has the ability to um, complete background checks that you might need to administer, um, NDAs, bank account information, pre preparation for taxes, whatever the customer's workflow currently is, we can mirror that and make it very, very simplistic with just one click. Um, streamlined payments. So uh, a very simple way for customers to have a personalized tool specifically geared towards 1099 contractors from a payroll perspective when the majority of the companies you're going to be speaking with around this, they are paying contractors with a tool that wasn't specifically meant for uh, for the independent contractor workforce. Um, and then I've touched on this a few times, but automated compliance. Since everything is living within Wingspan and all the payments are going through Wingspan to the contractors at the end of the year, um, we submit everything to the IRS directly, automatically, and completely take that off of your client's plate. Um, so I'm going to pause there from uh, from the client perspective. Anything else you want to add there, Cam? No, I I just think when you when you show this to your clients, it's usually the first time they've seen it. It's not a very crowded space at this point. So keep going, Steve. Totally. Um, and and so contractors are struggling with with the fragmented systems too. Um, a lot of the contractors that are in the workforce, maybe they haven't been a contractor before, or they've only ever worked as a W two employee. Um, there's a lot of question marks that that come with that. And so from their perspective, um, it's just as easy. We have purposefully made our, our UI and visuals very simplistic. We didn't want to overcomplicate this. So while we are a tech forward API first platform, from the contractor side and the client side, it is the easiest platform to use. And so when a contractor gets that email that the client had just sent that I'd show you, um, it's very quick. They verify their personal information. They submit a few pieces of documentation and they're fully set up on, um, on Wingspan. Um, from there, transparent and timely payments. Um, so they can get paid on whatever cadence, which is relatively rare in this industry. But my favorite thing about the, uh, the contractor piece is when they get paid through Wingspan, we offer a Wingspan wallet akin to like a their own banking debit card where they can deposit directly for same day payments. And what we hear in terms of pain points in the industry, because of the manual processes, there's a lot of mistakes that can be made in terms of the total payment amount 
or somebody getting paid um, not at all because it went to a different bank account. In those instances, when contractors have to push back and say, hey, I didn't get paid the right amount, it can be a two-week cycle for them to get paid for the work that they've already done when they expected it today. With Wingspan, the contractors can dispute that payment. The company side gets on immediately, resolves that payment, and then they can have an immediate direct deposit. So for contractors that are living paycheck to paycheck, um, we are offering a solution that doesn't exist. And when we talk again about retention and recruitment, this is a game changer for a completely different payroll solution for a group of, of employees that haven't necessarily been at the forefront of, um, of, of targeting from companies in terms of giving them a really great experience. And then financial tools to help run their businesses. So I'm not gonna spend a ton of time here, but we offer financial healthcare tools for independent contractors. Um, so when clients are talking about wanting to set their contractors up for success and keep them for a really long time, um, we are offering solutions, whether it be a tax hotline, automatic tax withholding, um, to Teladoc on the healthcare side, specifically for contractors. And you can see more here on Teladoc. Um, so what are the types of companies that Wingspan is targeting? So I want to get through all the, the demo piece now and now how, why is this important to everybody on this call? Um, so Wingspan can help a ton of different companies, regardless of size. Really what we need is introductions to companies who have independent contractors. So while we have our sweet spots in terms of what is our target vertical, um, and we've seen like claims adjusting and contract staffing and marketing creative agencies. Really why we've seen so much success there is because there's a, a larger revenue opportunity just due to the vast number of independent contractors within those target segments. So we're pretty much vertical agnostic. I would say if your companies that you're working with have 10 plus independent contractors, that's a great threshold for, for who we'd, we would like to talk to. One thing I'll really highlight there is a real estate brokerage. I think all of us know a real estate brokerage in our backyard. And you're seeing some of the national players have set up something that offers a benefit or a group buying type environment. Um, you know, it's interesting. I was talking Alex Khan, our, our friendly neighborhood uh, flex path uh, wholesaler here internally, one of my best friends. And I know hopefully you all know, have met Alex at some point. His wife is a really successful real estate agent and she got recruited by one of the biggest national real estate agents. And that's where I saw kind of the pitch kit was hey, we can get you benefits to feel like a W-2 employee. And we're seeing local real estate agencies are losing it to these bigger organizations that have set up something like a wingspan that gives them this benefits marketplace. So just that's some low-hanging fruit. If you anybody who helps you buy your house, right, um, definitely recommend going to talk to them, seeing if you have local brokerages in your neighborhood. Great. Thank you, Kim. Um, and how quickly do, do we move? So when you make an introduction to a client, to wings from a client to Wingspan, um, it usually takes us around four weeks to understand their pain points, to create a customizable solution, um, and then we start the implementation process. So once clients realize that we can help with the vast majority of what they're currently working with, with either systems they don't have yet or pre-existing systems in place, and this isn't an introduction piece, and then 120 days from now, you might see if this pans out, we move quick and we can help your clients within within a month. Um, and then just some, some resources. We have just a, a high level case study um, for a company called Pacesetter that we're working with. Um, and you can just see it at, at a high level. And um, they have 600 1099s paid each month. Um, we're saving them hours and hours of time per week. We're saving them thousands of, um, of savings annually. And really what, what stands out to me on this page is the amount of time that they're saving onboarding their 1099 contractors. So I touched on that slide where it was just like add collaborators, email. Um, it is a very manual process as I touched on. And so for these customers who are onboarding 10 to 20 contractors at a time, we're turning what could be days in, uh, in manual workflow and waiting for updates and manually reminding them to, uh, to submit to different pieces of documentation. And we're automating that process fully and for uh, for our companies. So for this example, 80% of time is saved where they can now reallocate that time elsewhere within the business on onboarding the, uh, the specific 1099 contractors. So I would add here, just kind of before we dive into this is, um, you know, we've actually 
talked about this and we're and we continue to help wingspan build out their their offering to individuals and so some for individual 1099 contractors um, one of the biggest sectors we're seeing with that as well are staffing agencies right so some of our staffing agencies we put wingspan in place but one of the things we're also helping wingspan get on their platform is something nfp calls um, insure choice you know the rpag family this is an ability for you 1099 contractor to get their renter's insurance, their you know basic auto insurance, all that kind of stuff through an online integrated platform, again, with bulk buying discounts. So again, just trying to create as much of that group buying benefits environment, your W-2 employees benefit from building that into the 1099 experience, right? So they're going to look and feel and operate like a W-2 employee as much as possible, but still get the independence, the flexibility, the tax advantageousness of being a 1099 contractor. So Steve has a bit of a better understanding of the competition, but I think what you'll see here is it's a mix between payroll companies and some you know, billing type companies. I'd say the competitor not listed on here is the not using anybody at all, which is what I've personally run into quite a bit, which is just literally not, not using paychecks, the company, but writing checks right to these individuals right and then internal accounting through spreadsheets and things like that and so you know back to the red flag training i think we've done with a lot of rpag members is is if you can help pinpoint this as a you know pain point for them and then help them quantify well how much time are you spending on your 1099 administration how much time are you you know money are you spending processing these things how many errors do you have start to ask these questions they might give an answer. You don't, you might not have a good idea if that's large or not. And frankly, it's going to be relative to them. But now you're getting them to talk about something and saying, hey, I, I've actually met somebody who can solve for this. It'd be worth, there's intrinsic value in the meeting, right? Now, whether they're hiring Wingspan or not, now you're a problem solver, right? Like now you're in their head as here's me thinking outside of just my box. Like that, that is, in, in, a, in my experience, if you're helping them solve that now, no matter how long they've been with their foreign K advisor, you're now the you're the problem solver. So whether it's six months or a year later, you're going to be for sure you're in positive light and getting you know that opportunity of whatever the business line is that you were originally intending to go for. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah, no, I, I think you nailed it, Cam. Thanks so much. Um, so just just to add on to that, there are solutions that are provided for one piece of this, and when I talk about all the different tools that need to be centralized using Wingspan. That is why. Uh, and so we are really the first platform that's taking advantage of this. And um, I think we're, we're kind of getting to the point where I'm pretty sure everybody on, on the call gets in general what this experience is, right? There's very good integrations for the employer who's offering this. There's a phenomenal convenience of experience for the individual 1099 contractors, right? It almost becomes a financial planning tool for them, uh, um, a lifestyle management tool. I can tell you my dad grew up as a sole proprietor, right? He was doing contracting work as a concrete inspector. And I remember him spending his weekends doing just spreadsheets, right? <laughs> like managing all of this stuff. And, you know, if he would have had something like this just back, you know, when I was a kid, it would have saved tons of time, right? And so that time piece of it, especially for contractors where time is money, I think is just such a huge differentiator. So you have a great opportunity to make an impact in people's lives. The other thing I'll say is that retirement benefit that we're building on the Wingspan platform, that's where we're really exploring the concept of a PEP. So just like we'd allow you to bring individual employer clients to the other pooled employer plans that we've launched for a time plan advisory group, we're looking to try to create that same inclusivity at the individual 1099s. Think of it as a PEP, but really just for solo Ks, like it just for a one person 1099 who can now save in this retirement benefit up to the 415F limit, which was 61,000 this year. I forget the exact number for next year. I think it's close to 65,000 because they can give themselves employee contributions plus profit sharing. And one of the questions we've got a lot is, well, how's that different than a SEP IRA? Well, your contribution limits are different, not from a total dollar standpoint, but a SEP IRA, you're capped at, you go up to 65,000 or 25% of pay. And if you think of a lot of these contractors, it's not they're not consistently making the same amount each year. They might have a huge year, you might have a small year. Think real estate agents is just the easiest one for me to visualize. They might have a huge year. They sold a lot of houses. And then this year, you know, housing market's not so attractive. They're not. So the ability to let them defer up to 100% of their pay into these solo K type environments instead of the SEP IRA is a huge differentiator. And then doing it at, at group scale. 
But the goal for us is to be able to have you all bring your individual clients to this and then participate in the revenue generated from that solo K type PEP that we're creating for these 1099 agents as well. So Steve, is there any other kind of, I think, closing thoughts you wanna give um, in the conversation today? Um, we could save companies time and money. We're gonna give the contractors a much better experience um, and all we're looking for is um, is introductions. And so if your clients have pain and you can um, and you're feeling that through your conversations with them, um, we can run with it from there and really protect that experience and make sure that we're we're solving these pain points. All right. Well, I just want to thank Steve uh, through navigating uh, presenting with a fire alarm. Sorry for that unexpected adversity, but and thank you all for listening in. Highly encourage you all, Just this is just another arrow in your quiver, another question to ask, right? You're talking to that prospect, it's solved, it's, you, they're in an industry, you know they have 1099s or a client asks, how do you solve for this? This is a great first step. So just wanna thank you all for your time. Uh, if you have any other questions, definitely reach out to support at rpag.com. They can connect you with the Wingspan team uh, and really help you with those discussions with your clients. So with that, Ashley, thanks for taking us off. Steve, thanks for your time. And thank you all for attending today. I hope you have a great rest of your day.